Hi, this is Shane Kennedy with your Point Park Athletics podcast update. On Tuesday, March 30th, the baseball team played a doubleheader against Fisher College. In Game 1, the Pioneers trailed 1-0 after one inning. The Pioneers scored two in the second on an Antonio Carrillo two-run home run to take a 2-1 lead. In the fourth, Carlos Sanchez scored on the Luis Mujica walk. In the same inning, Ed Fluger doubled in a pair to make it 5-1. In the fifth, the Pioneers scored three more runs. Danilo Leone scored on the Carlos Sanchez walk with the bases loaded. Later in the fifth, Carlos Sanchez scored on the Joseph Renavalli single and Cole Haru scored on the throw to second base to make it 8-1, which was the final of Game 1. Jonathan Pacheco pitched six innings, giving up one run on four hits and had six strikeouts. Tyler Poland came in the seventh inning and finished the game pitching one inning, picking up a strikeout. In Game 2, the Pioneers scored three in the first inning. Joseph Renavalli scored on the Ty Andrews sacrifice fly. Later in the first inning, Emil Maria scored on the Luis Hernandez walk. Ed Fluger scored on the ground out by Dylan Winsick in the first. Joseph Renavalli scored in the second as well to make it 12 0 after two innings. Fisher College added one in the fourth inning to make it 12 1. In the bottom half of the fourth, Ed Fluger doubled in Danilo Leone. In the same inning, Isaac Santana scored on the ground out by Alejandro Palaz to make it 14-1 after four innings. After five innings, the Pioneers led 21-1. Fisher College added two runs in the sixth and two runs in the seventh to make it 21-5 Point Park. Point Park won game two by that score. Easton Klein pitched five innings, giving up one run on four hits and collected four strikeouts. Tyler Poland completed the game and pitched two innings, giving up four runs, two of them earned on five hits. He walked two and struck out one. Ed Fluger had three hits and three RBIs. Dylan Winsick had two hits and two RBIs. Antonio Carrillo had two hits and an RBI. Michali Brito had two hits. Luis Hernandez had a hit with three RBIs. Emil Maria had a hit with two RBIs. Ruben Ramirez had a hit and an RBI. Isaac Satana had a hit and an RBI. Alejandro Nino had a hit and an RBI. Alejandro Poez had two RBIs. Cole Haru. Carlos Sanchez, Christian Negron, and Ty Andrews all had an RBI. On Friday, April 2nd, the baseball team started a three-game series against Ohio Christian. In the third, Joseph Renavalli scored on an Ed Fluger ground out to give the Pioneers a 1-0 lead. In the fourth, Antonio Carrillo scored on a single from Danilo Leone. Later in the fourth, Luis Hernandez scored on an air by Ohio Christian on a pop-up by Joseph Renavalli's to give the Pioneers a 3-0 lead. In the sixth inning, Joseph Renavalli's doubled in Danilo Leone and Luis Hernandez to make it 5-0. Then later in the fifth, Emil Murillo singled in Joseph Renavalli's to make it 6-0. Then in the eighth, Joseph Renavalli's tripled in Luis Mujica. Then later in the eighth, Ed Fluger hit a two-run home run to give the Pioneers a 9-0 lead and the victory. Nick Beardsley pitched eight innings, giving up seven hits, striking out eight. Easton Klein threw the ninth. Joseph Renavalli's had two hits with four RBIs. Antonio Carrillo had two hits. Ed Fluger had a two-run home run and drove in another run. Emil Murillo had a hit and an RBI. Danilo Leone had a hit and an RBI. Luis Mujica had a hit. On Saturday, April 3rd, the baseball team completed the sweep against Ohio Christian. Ohio Christian scored one in the first inning. In the second, Luis Hernandez singled in Dylan Winsick to tie the game at one. In the third inning, Emil Maria hit a two-run home run to give the Pioneers a 3-1 lead. In the fourth, Luis Hernandez singled in Danilo Leone. Later in the fourth, Joseph Renavalli singled in Luis Hernandez. In the fifth, Ed Fluger scored on an air by Ohio Christian on a ball hit by Michali Brito. Then Danilo Leone hit a sacrifice fly to bring in Emil Murillo to give the Pioneers a 7-1 lead. In the sixth, Ed Fluger doubled in Antonio Carrillo. Later in the sixth, Dylan Winsegg singled in Ed Fluger. The Pioneers led 9-1 in the eighth until Ed Fluger hit a two-run home run, giving the Pioneers 11-1 victory after the home run forced a 10-run roll. Cole Haru pitched eight innings, giving up a run on four hits, striking out eight. Ed Fluger had five hits, one of them being a two-run home run. 
Dylan Winsick and Luis Hernandez each had two hits and two RBIs. Emil Murillo had a two-run home run. Danilo Leone and Joseph Renavales each had a hit and an RBI. In Game 2, the Pioneers trailed 1-0 after one inning of play. The Pioneers trailed 1-0 until the bottom of the fifth. In the fifth, Ty Andrews cleared the bases with a three-run double to give the Pioneers a 3-1 lead, which was the final score in Game 2. Christian Negron threw five innings, giving up a run on five hits. He walked three and struck out four. Ruben Ramirez closed out the game, throwing two innings, striking out five batters. Joseph Renavales and Antonio Creo each had two hits. Ty Andrews had a hit with three RBIs. Luis Hernandez had a hit. The Pioneers' next series is Friday, April 9th against IU Southeast. The Pioneers are 23-7 on the season. Coach Warren Torres reached career win number 500 with the victories over Fisher College. Pitcher Nick Beardsley is three strikeouts away from tying the school record, which is 219 strikeouts, which is held by Corey Hartsburg. The women's track and field team competed at the WVU Mountaineer Classic on Friday, April 2nd, and at the Slippery Rock David Labor Invitational on Saturday, April 3rd. On Friday, Alyssa Boyd placed first in the 3,000-meter steeplechase. Alyssa Campbell placed second in the 5,000-meter run and qualified for the NAIAs. On Saturday, the relay team placed second in the 4x100-meter relay. Natalie Hillen placed seventh in the 100-meter hurdles. Nolan McGuire placed sixth in the 400-meter dash. Sophie Jabose placed sixth in the triple jump and seventh in the long jump. Their next meet is April 11th at the IUP Invitational. The men's track and field team competed at the WVU Mountaineer Classic on Friday, April 2nd, and at the Slippery Rock David Labor Invitational on Saturday, April 3rd. On Friday, Bailey Horahan placed fourth in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. On Saturday, Daniel Jacobs placed first in the javelin throw. Damir Steven Stewart placed second in the 200 meter dash and fourth in the long jump. Damir Lomax placed fifth in the 200 meter dash. He placed 7th in the long jump and 9th in the 110 meter hurdles. Terrence Stevens plays 5th in the 400 meter dash. Their next meet is April 11th at the IUP Invitational. The softball team played a double hitter on Friday, April 2nd against Asbury University. In Game 1, Matty Horn singled in Taylor Goldstrom, giving the Pioneers an early 1-0 lead. The Pioneers extended their lead in the third to make it 2-0 as Goldstrom scored on the fielder's choice by Angeli Bell. They went until three runs were scored by Asbury in the fifth and Asbury added two more in the sixth to win 5-2. Angeli Bell pitched six innings, giving up five runs, four earned on seven hits. She walked and struck out two. Haley Leitner and Tyra Bell each had a hit. In game two, the Pioneers trailed after two innings, 5-0. They clawed their way back into the game as Jody Frontino doubled in three runs in the third to make it 5-3. Then later in that inning, Alex Bondi singled in Frontino to make it 5-4. Asbury answered with sixth in the bottom half of the fourth to make it 11-4. In the fifth, Jody Frontino collected her fourth RBI as she singled in Taylor Goldstrom to make it 11-5. Then later in the same inning, Matty Horn scored on the sack fly by Alex Bondi, giving Bondi her second RBI of the game to make it 11-6. Then Asbury added three in the sixth to give them the 14-6 win. Jada Simon pitched five innings, giving up 14 runs, 10 of them earned on 10 hits. She walked two and struck out one. Courtney Shoemake threw a third of an inning, giving up two hits. Maddie Horn and Carissa Sakaris each had a hit. On Saturday, April 3rd, the softball team played a doubleheader against Midway University. In Game 1, the Pioneers got out to an early lead as Jody Frontino singled in Maddie Horn in the first. Later in the first inning, Angeli Bell singled in Jody Frontino to make it 2-0 after one inning. In the second, Carissa Sakair scored on the walk by Jody Frontino. In the same inning, Taylor Goldstrom scored and Maddie Horn scored on an Alex Bondi single to make it 5-0 Pioneers. Then in the fifth, Taylor Goldstrom singled in Angeli Bell to make it 6-0. Asbury added a run in the sixth to make it 6-1. The Pioneers hold on to win it by that score. Angeli Bell pitched seven innings, giving up a run on two hits. She walked one and struck out four. Taylor Goldstrom had three hits and an RBI. Maddie Horn had three hits. 
Jody Frontino had two hits with two RBIs. Alex Bondi had a hit with two RBIs. Angeli Bell had a hit and an RBI. Sidney Reese and Mar Ignema each had a hit. In Game 2, the Pioneers had an early 1-0 lead in the first as Taylor Goldstrom scored on the fielder's choice by Haley Leitner. In the third, Midway scored two to make it 2-1. In the fourth, Jada Simon, Tyra Bell, and Carissa Sakaris scored on the air by Midway on the Taylor Goldstrom fly ball to make it 4-2. Later in the fourth, Matty Horn singled in Taylor Goldstrom to make it 5-2. Then Matty Horn scored on the air by Midway on the ground ball hit to third by Jody Frontino to make it 6-2. The Pioneers added another in the fifth on the Jada Simon double to score Sidney Reese to make it 7-2, which ended up being the final score. Jada Simon pitched four innings, giving up two runs on eight hits. She walked one. Courtney Shoemake pitched two innings, striking out two. Angeli Bell pitched an inning, giving up a hit. Maddie Horn and Jada Simon each had two hits. Tyra Bell had two hits. Taylor Goldstrom and Alex Bondi each had a hit. The Pioneers' next series is a doubleheader on Wednesday, April 7th, against Ohio Christian. The Pioneers are 8-10 on the season. This has been Shane Kennedy with your Point Park Athletics Podcast Update.